you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So, I am documenting my life as it's really happening. I'm taking my sweet, sweet time with filming the little details as it is, trying to not make it too polished or different. I'm just trying to capture this moment. choice but you know circumstances of life sometimes present you with things that you might not necessarily want universe sometimes pushes you out of places that are just not in line and so there is definitely been resistance to this idea um, of what's happening and I think I've just come into acceptance now of what's going on and I'm actually really excited for the next chapter so that's why it's easy for me to film now because there's definitely been panic moments of realizing I'm going to lose my house the one that I've just created this year I have finalized this house <laughs> whoa just in March I am so glad that I spent three months here even though I wasn't fully happy I just nurtured myself I was in this house I basically never left for months it has been seven weeks in Iceland and I am not ashamed to say that I basically did not leave the house. <laughs> I'm so grateful I did that because I didn't realize that this would be such a short term temporary home and I have to move. <laughs> so it is currently the end of October. Breakfast is served and someone in the apartment block is doing the washing because it's shaking the whole house. <laughs> oh, I feel so good today. I'm glad I'm recording on a day where I feel good um, because I'm starting to feel like myself again. As a kid, I used to make videos all the time i just love capturing memories like it's my favorite thing in the world but definitely the last few years i've i've been forcing it i'd say the last three years i've been forcing could have given up my uh contract because i really thought about it for a long time it was forcing me to create when i really didn't want to create so probably prolonged the process of needing to take time away but i'm also glad i didn't because it gave me financial security in a very strange time <laughs> on the back end so i um, grateful for it and strangely enough I'm really grateful that my contract is coming to an end and I don't want to renew it um, at the end of this year that's it and I am excited because it just means I'm, I'll, I'll be creating for myself and even though there will be zero income coming in at that point um, I don't know I'm not panicking I'm not scared I just am excited to see what happens so I'm very proud of myself for even feeling that way. But anyway, the reason I sat down with the guitar is because I, I figured something out recently that I'm so excited about in terms of my music. Right now it's the end of October. It's the first Christmas, Christmas that my entire family is spending together in maybe a decade. And I am so overjoyed. I, now that I'm becoming more and more a family person, I am so excited to be reunited with my family like this and I really want to put the focus on creating community with my own family. I just had this vision of myself, yeah, singing for my family and trying to maybe learn some songs that we can sing along to, which I've never seen my family do this, ever. Uh, we have a very, I would say more of a heavy household for myself, selfishly, want to rewrite what it could look like for a family and I'll, I'll try with my family, see if they're on board of just, you know, 
playing card games or playing some music because that's what I want for my own future. So whether it works with my family or not, I'm going to sing for them. <laughs> so I'm practicing. I'm learning a repertoire of songs so I can perform for them, even though it's going to be average and shit and embarrassing. And I've, I really very rarely sing in front of people, um, but I'm changing that. Like you guys are going to get a little performance now. Bye. Now that I'm moving out, and this house is a thing of the past, um, I can show you where I live. And my favorite thing about um, this house is the view. It is so good for a city life. I'm in the center of Reykjavik. This is what I think I'll get a bit sad still. I'm in the center of downtown. Like, it can't get any central, more central than this. And it's quiet, it's isolated away from the noises of the main street, and it is overlooking all the other buildings in this area so I get like this endless view of the city and it helps me to think big being able to like having something in front of my face will block my my thoughts so being able to see all the way out just gives me a very very nice perspective um, for growth and expansion which I've really loved the sunsets here are amazing yeah so this <laughs> this part I'll definitely miss see you later buddies see you later to the birds oh speaking of my little body sounds crazy but this might be the hardest thing <laughs> probably sounds weird but i am such a plant lady and i have no shame my plants i am going to miss so much well i've never shown you inside this room because it was it is my bedroom and i wanted to have it private away from the eyes of people However, I started packing up already and I wanted to capture my little sanctuary where the magic happened. And by magic, I mean really good night's sleep. <laughs> that hasn't been much action in my life, which I've more or less chosen. Actually, there was a bit of magic that happened here too. <laughs> ah, and my view out of this window has been unbelievable. Firstly, it's sunny in here, which is so nice. Secondly, when the volcano was going off, I actually had a direct view of this, the steam. Not the eruption, because I'm quite far away, but that was cool too. trying to decide whether I take all my things and ship them or sell everything and start again. Yeah, filming everything just now, I was like, bitch, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I fucking love my things. I have done such a hard job collecting them. There's gonna be a bit of work to get it shipped. It takes a couple of months, it's a bit expensive, um, but I have curated all these things from a place of love and care and I want my house to continue. I'm not giving up on my life like this. Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to my new crib. Come on in. Oh, it's my highlight of the whole house. And so I think it's two meters by two meters, tiny.
Now it's time to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace, an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Let's talk about the amazing features of Squarespace. Online store. Sell your products on an online store. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. Appointments. Accept appointments on your Squarespace website. Offer online or in-person private sessions, workshops, and group classes. They provide everything you need to manage your schedule, accept secure payments, send automatic reminders, beautifully showcase your services, and more. Fluid Engine. With Fluid Engine, a next-generation website design system from Squarespace, it's never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. Start with the best-in-class website template and customize every design detail with reimagined drag-and-drop technology for desktop or mobile. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Sorel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.